high kick defense. This is really a total roundhouse kick defense. And what I mean by that is, when I do this movement that we're going to discuss, it doesn't matter where that roundhouse kick lands, it's going to be uh, defended against, at least in some degree. <clears throat> the one we're specifically going to talk about is if he kicks and that kick lands above the elbow, we're going to catch it. There are other moves, there's one other move on Alio's self-defense, if it lands between the elbow and the hand here, we're going to catch that and turn it into a leg lock. And then anything that lands below the hand is going to get deflected, okay? I'm pointing the top of my quad, my knee and my shin at that kick as kind of a, a deflector, okay? So, <clears throat> Anything below the hand, we're not going to worry about. It's defended against at least a little bit. It's better than getting kicked in the back of the, the thigh if you've ever had that. So for this movement, I'm going to bring my shoulder up to protect my jawline. My hand is pointed away and my wrist is against my hip. My fingers are loose and not pointing out. They're just loose against my body. My hand is here, protecting my temple, and probably the most important part is I'm leaning away, okay? If I stand straight up here, this hand's not gonna protect against a kick, okay? It's leaning away and creating distance so that that kick glances off and misses our head entirely. That's what's gonna protect the head, okay? So, if Josh kicks, the most important thing here is moving away from the kick. So I'll have him kick right here. So you can see I'm moving away. My hands are up. I see him kick. I'm moving away from the kick. If I just stand here and let him kick me, I'm going to eat all that power. Okay? By moving away, you're going to rob most of the power out of that kick. And so, we should back up and talk about how do we know he's going to kick me? Well, he's either kicked at me like this before, or he's stepping in with the toes pointed away so that he can torque the hips and generate that power. So if I see any of those, he's stepping in like this, kind of a reaching, pointing step, I know he's trying to load those hips up for something, okay? Or he's already been kicking at me like this. So he steps in, I see that leg, I'm gonna move away, okay? There's 90% of the defense. If the elbow, if the, the kick comes above the elbow, that's when I'm going to catch. So I'm a little tall, so it's a little hard for to get the, the kick up to my head. But I'll just squat down a little bit and make it easy so that Josh can keep his balance and stay up. So, he kicks, I move away, boom. As soon as I feel that foot catch or touch above my elbow, the hand is just going to come up. From here, I'm going to grab the shoulder, block Achilles to Achilles, and I'm just going to rotate him into this hole here. From here, I don't really want to stay here, so I'm just going to use that leg to pass. I can pin the legs, pass the crossbody, whatever. I just don't want to stay in his goal. Okay. So, he's been kicking, or he sets up his kick. One. Okay. Depending on how tall <clears throat> your opponent is, you might have to come in a little closer here to be able to reach the shoulder. So I can reach clear out here. When people do this to me, they usually have to come and scoop the thigh behind the knee. I'm going to step in here, Achilles to Achilles. If I go too deep, um, your balance isn't that great. It's not horrible, but mainly I'm just worried about my opponent's knee. If I trip him here and his foot gets planted to the mat, Sometimes it can torque his knee a little bit. So 
You're going to have a better base here anyways, but just for safety's sake, don't step deeper. There's no reason to. Rotating him in, using my hand on my knee, I can just pass this and we can move to cross body, knee on belly, whatever you prefer. Okay. Different angle here. One, catch, grab your shoulder, close in if you need to, Achilles to Achilles, rotate, pinch with the knee and hand, pressing that leg, moving to cross body, knee on belly, etc. 